Hello, and welcome back to another episode on the GOAT server. Greatest of all time server, trying to be the greatest of all time GOAT. Today, we have started off in Fall Girls Industrial District. Uh, in the last episode, I mentioned that we had something to do with those heads, and if you watched that time lapse of me setting all these things up, you would know that I worked on the armor stand project for Fall Girl here. We got a couple different things to show off. Uh, I had a couple plans planned out, and I think I got them pretty good. Uh, for example, we have this guy petting the kittens inside her little cat room. Very interesting. We have a sneaky variation who's wearing a disguise face. As you can see, he's got the glasses, the nose, and the mustache. I think this came out looking really, really good. This is probably my favorite one uh, out of this project. Uh, actually, there's one other that I really like, but this one, I, I really like how I was able to make the disguise face. I think that looks really, really cool. Then over here, we have one lifting up the other. I think that looks pretty funny. Uh, trying to get up to the beacon, I suppose. We have some farmer variations. This one is uh, picking up some, or harvesting some wheat, and he's putting it in the, uh, the pouch on his back, which is made out of a composter, as you can see. We have this one. This one didn't translate very well. He's supposed to be wiping off sweat from his forehead, but I just, I don't think I did it right. Uh, but I mean, if you can see it, it's there. We also have this one over yonder that is uh, writing down on a... I forgot that there's a villager in here. Fall Girl, if you're watching, you might want to get that checked out. Uh, but we have this version right here who's checking out the clipboard, uh, comparing notes jotting down some stuff in some spreadsheets to determine how well this cactus farm is doing. If we go over to the well, we have this one who's tossing a coin into the well. This is just like a little sunflower. I think that came out looking pretty good. And then lastly, but certainly not least, this is the other favorite one of mine, and I hope Fall Girl likes this, we have a, a wizard variation. For those that don't know, there used to be an elder wand on this uh, item frame, and I have actually put it in this, uh, this character's hands. I actually might put a little bit more right here, like maybe some sort of like energy or, or something. I don't know, I'm trying to, to figure that part out. But so far, I think this came out looking really, really good. I'm really excited about that. It only took me about hmm, like a little bit more than an hour to finish, so I'm just gonna charge her for the hour. Uh, which would be just 20 diamonds. Wasn't too much work. It was just a tedious process getting certain things set up, especially like the, the face over here. This one I think took the longest and like I said, it's my favorite one. So of course I'm really happy with it. And I hope Fall Girl is happy with these as well. Now, also in the last episode, we did an egg hunt and that was put on by Wemily at our base and she, has actually delivered the prize to me. Okay, we got a bunch of golden carrots. Nice, nice. And then uh, see Dad at uh, 4,013, 11,046. Happy Easter. Uh, see Dad, what is that? Okay, so I asked I asked Wemily what Sea Dad was. So it's Curtis does a dig. So let's head over to 4,013, 1,146 to find out what the prize is. Alrighty, I think this is it. Let's see what we get. Hey, Curtis, do what you do best. What? <sighs> what do I do best? Anything more? No. Okay, that was it. <laughs> Just a bunch of fish! Oh my goodness! Uh, okay. What do I do best? I think I know what I'm supposed to do. See, 
we... Oh, wait. Do they not if they're sitting? Hold on. Let's... Can I get another cat? Is that what we're going to do here? No? Okay. Let's try it at the... The great cat farm in the sky. As Gort put it. Okay, so I think... If I... Oh, wow. These are a lot of cats. If I breed some of these cats together... Will they still be Gort's or will they be mine? Let's see. Uh, do they... Hmm. Do they produce kittens? Um... Hmm. Okay, so I brought my own cat up here. What if I do this? Do they... Hmm. <gasps> okay, now who's, whose cat is that? Is that mine? Or is it Gort's? Like, I know if I leave, right? So that cat... <gasps> oh, you beautiful, beautiful creature. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, he's going to love having all these cats around, isn't he? Let's get started. We have plenty of fish for this. Okay, my idea I don't think is going to work because they keep entering the portal and ending up in the nether. So we're going to try figuring out something else instead. Maybe. Hmm. We'll figure out something inside of his base with these fish instead. Alrighty, I think I have figured it out. So we have a dropper with the codfish in it. Uh, and it will be activated after this clock goes down. And so we're just having it constantly dispense cod into his base. Now what we're going to do, we're going to leave this going... We're going to put in some more cod right there. We're going to get out of here so that it, it doesn't keep running. Uh, and then he will just slowly, over time, have cod entering his base. Let's get out of here, though, so that it doesn't keep doing it while we're in this area. And let's actually head over to our base because we got a build to do. We've been doing some pretty small things here and there. And I think today's not going to be very different. I mean, uh, two weeks ago we did the kelp farm. And that's been running the bamboo bar. Bamboo bar. Bamboo farm the next week. And then uh, last week we worked on this really, really bad design for a cobblestone and basalt generator. Uh, it's not the best design. Certainly not the worst. But it's definitely not the best. Um, this week, we're probably going to do another small design. Oh, I'm back, eating dinner, listening to an unknown amount of cats on the other side of a door, and staring at an inventory full of fish and a telltale white-colored bed. I wonder why. I wonder if I'll notice the fish being dispensed into this portal. Anyway, sorry, what was I saying? We're going to make another small little build. It's not going to be too impressive. It's just going to be something for now. Um, alrighty, and the build we are going to make today is going to be pretty simple. Uh, we're going to be making a chorus fruit farm. And it's not going to be like an automatic one. I'm not going to worry about it producing a lot. Uh, I'm just going to let it grow and then manually take it down every now and then. Because uh, I'm... I'm probably not going to use chorus fruit quite often, uh, except maybe to make like some purper blocks, but that's about it. And I honestly, I don't use purper blocks, so I, I don't plan on really needing this to function all the time. But having chorus fruit handy is, you know, it's, it's handy. It really is. 
Um, so, we're going to build it. Um, where is the question? I'm thinking maybe we'll just put it next to this farm. Like, maybe even just right off, off of it. I think that could work. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Right, it is not much, but it'll do. Oh, and Gort is ready for me to teleport him to my base. Uh, he has some chorus flowers that I'm going to plant in here. Let's drop down his pearl. Voila! Hello! And then he's going to reset his pearl. What a lad. Alright, let's get these flowers set up. Thank you for dropping by. Ooh. I asked for five! Who does he think he is? All right, he's right. There are five in here. I just gotta take out three. Nice. So now we can go plant these, and we can go ahead and allow the chorus fruit to finally get growing. Now I am a little worried that we're gonna end up getting some uh, flowers going way beyond the outside of this. Uh, and, you know, it is what it is. We'll make do with it, I suppose. But, you know, it works. This will do. I'm fine with it. Uh, just a quick, simple little area to, to grow them in. That's all I really wanted. Um, and if it does grow out, then, you know, it is what it is. I don't care. But awesome. Got that done. Okay, I am back at the spot that Wemily sent me to. Uh, apparently, there was more than just fish, and I just have to dig straight down. So that is what I do best. I dig. Curtis does a dig. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Oh! What's in this one? String. It says, keep digging. Oh! Keep digging with sugar cane. Okay. Oh, was that something? No. Another one. Curtis, keep digging with some cacti. Oh, it's this one. Keep digging with chiseled stone brick. How dare she. Oh. And... Keep digging. This one has armor stands and smooth stone. That's pretty cool. Oh. 
You know what to do. Gunpowder. Ooh. Anything over here? I don't know. Curtis does more digging. This one has slime balls. Oh, heck yeah. Curtis bored of digging? Absolutely not. <gasps> Iron blocks, TNT, redstone blocks, and netherite scrap. Oh my gosh. Heck yeah. Is there anything else? <gasps> yeah. Curtis dug. And this one has a whole bunch of leather and dyes. Oh, this is so good. And then we also got some diamond ore. Wow, that's so cool. Thank you so much, Wemily. I didn't even know this was a thing. But thank you, thank you so, so very much. That's so awesome. And I get to keep the shulkers, I hope. That's so cool. Thank you so much, Wemily. And last, but certainly not least, for today's episode. I know today's episode is really, really short, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. But I've also added in this little area off camera. Uh, Gort holding up a little me. Uh, basically, I'm making this little shop right here. Statue for you. Welcome to Statue for You, a service-based shop where I will make armor stand statues for you. My portfolio is very broad, from construction sites to arcades. I will charge a base of 20 diamonds per hour spent working on your project in survival, none of the time spent figuring out what to do in creative. Depending on the resources required, I may also charge for those. In the chest to the right are uh, book and quilts. Please fill out what you would like create for you, the location, and how many diamonds you are willing to spend. The more diamonds, the more work I can put into making a masterpiece. Please do not sign the book and quill. Please put your request in the hopper behind this statue. Thank you for your patronage. Curtis does a dig. And we have a whole chest of book and quills. And we have these hoppers back here. And so far, nobody has put in a single request, which is fine. It's been here a couple days. I'm sure others will come by and eventually uh, request some armor stand assistance, which is going to be perfectly fine. Now I know that this video was a lot shorter than some of my previous videos, and the reason for that is I am going to be starting a new job starting tomorrow, which for you guys will have been four days before this video releases. Uh, and I will still be on contract for my current job, which means I'm going to be working two different jobs at the same time. Uh, plus, I have other side projects as well that I've been working on as well. Um, so, my time is going to be heavily reduced, so I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to play Minecraft. I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to do any video editing, so unfortunately, this is just how it's going to be for at least the next few weeks. Uh, so if I do happen to get videos out, that's great. But I am letting you guys know right now that I may be going on a temporary hiatus until the end of April. Uh, so like I said, it is unfortunate, but it needs to happen. I'm so excited to be starting this new job. Um, but until the end of April, I will be kind of swamped with work and won't be able to be doing any of the the stuff that I enjoy doing here. So unfortunate, but it is what it is. And on that note, I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell to get notified when I upload a video again. And if you're not following already, please consider following me on Twitter, Instagram, and supporting me on Patreon, all at Curtis Does a Dig. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys... Uh, if not the end of April, then before the end of April. So, take care.